Good evening, my name is Bruce Hancock from WC Communications. This evening I have the privilege of speaking with Sally, the head of KIS International School. Welcome Sally. Thank you. Sally, how, how long have you been at KIS? I've been at KIS for 14 years. Mm. Um, I was the founding head, so I came when the school opened in 1998. Okay, and uh, what, what sets KIS apart from other international schools, so many international schools about? Uh, KIS offers the full IB programs, primary years programs, middle years and diploma. And so it's a full comprehensive international education aimed at um, allowing students from anywhere in the world to have a consistent program and it's uh, overseen by the IB, the International Baccalaureate. So they're the providers of um, the accreditation if you like. So they're looking at how well you do it and they're also providing professional development and training for teachers. Okay, so what, what makes KIS a, a great IB school? I think it's our commitment to the IB programs. When we opened the school in 1998, we always decided that we would be an IB school. We never had any intention of any other programs. And unlike other new schools, we opened up with a, a very small cohort and we grew that um, class up through th all three of the programs. So the students had their experience all the way through from primary years program all the way up to diploma. And I think it allowed us as a community to also make a strong commitment. We weren't changing anybody's view on education. Yeah. Everybody came in committed to the IB. My staff, most, yeah, many of my staff are IB trainers, workshop leaders, uh, visit evaluators. Um, I sit on the IB board and we just have this whole philosophy that we need to make a commitment to making the international baccalaureate programs as good as they can be and better. Great, wonderful. I mean, my own experience, I've visited many international schools and I'm always intrigued by the atmosphere. There seems to be a different atmosphere in each of the schools. How would you describe the KIS atmosphere? I think if you came to our school, when you walk in, you would just find a very warm and inviting environment. I think that's the consistent message we get when, when people come by and see the school. And I think we're allowed to do that because we have a really strong ethos and we are really committed to staying as a medium-sized school. We don't want to be a big school. We want to feel that we have a knowledge of our student body and our families. So it's got that atmosphere that uh, says we, we know each other and we take care of each other and we're working together to achieve the best for everybody. So it sounds like a, a really a community of, of learning and development and, and, and quite enriching for the, for the students. Yeah, and for the adults too. I think we're all on a learning journey and we're all taking that journey together and it's very exciting. Wonderful. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. And thank you. And uh, if you'd like to be part of that journey, contact KIS International School.